Hello. Good morning, everyone. Today I'm going to discuss with you my number four in subjects of the testing quality assurance. The title of the unit number four is measurement. What is it and why do it? Measurement in everyday life. Measurement is nothing but one of the unit of measuring the length. We can use the measurement in our day-to-day -day everyday life activity. Basically, measurements are used in a various common examples in everyday life. The first example is economical measurement, which is used to determine the price and sale. For example, if we go in a particular shop and we can buy some item or after purchasing the item, then shopkeeper can calculate the bill which is based on the number of items what you have purchased in a shop. And according to the calculated way, we can pay the price or estimate the money to the shopkeeper. So in this way, economical measurements are used in everyday life, which is just knowing the price. And measurement is also used in atmosphere system, means we can use the measurement in a weather prediction report. And according to that, we can calculate the day 24 hours, what is the weather in morning, what is the weather in afternoon, what is the weather condition in evening. According to that, the condition and prediction of the weather, we can calculate the graph of the weather daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly. The measurement unit is also used in the medical systems for the doctors. So according to those measurements, doctors can diagnose the patients for the specific illness. So in this way, the measurement unit is help us to interact with surroundings and improve the our lives by using the measurement. So in the same way, in the same way, we can use measurement in a software engineering life cycle also. The definition of measurement is nothing but it is a process by which numbers or symbols are assigned to attributes of entities in the real world in a such a way as to describe them according to clearly defined rules. So entities are nothing but the objects. So through the real world problems, we have solved in the form of objects. And when we describe those entities in the form of properties, properties are nothing but attributes. So we can describe the some rules. So we can assign the perceptions to the real values for developing the entities. And those perceptions are called as a numbers or symbols. For example, Suppose if we want to go and purchase the shop, uh, purchase the clothes in a shop, then we need to say what is the size of our body to fit the clothes. So size is called as a measurement. So in this way, we need to define some perceptions of real values to describe the objects according to their properties. So basically, measurements are used in a software engineering pages for the basic purpose is nothing but it is used to the basis for estimates. It is basically track the pro progress that is called as a milestone. It is basically used to determine the complexity. It is hard to understand when we achieve the desired state of quality. It is analyze the software product and it is experimentally validate the best practices. So measurement of software engineering is basically assess the quality of the software or software product on a daily basis. It is helps in estimate quality control, productivity assessment, and project control throughout the software project. It is basically used to assess in strategies for the decision making project process. The intention of measurement in a software engineering is to improve the processes on a daily basis. So measurement in software engineering is a manifestation of the size, quantity, amount, or dimensions of a particular attributes of a product or process. Basically, the software measurement process is defined and grown by some authentication rule, and those authentication rules and standards are grown by the ISO, International Standard Organization Committee. So what is the basic need for software measurement or what is the basic need of measurement in software engineering? It is basically used to 
defining the quality or we can say it is basically used to create the quality of current product and process it is predict the features of future qualities of the product or process it is enhance the quality of the product and regulate the state of the product and relation to budget and schedule so according to that tracking the progress of the project the manager and developer both are decide the budget is exists or the not so according to that they will regulate the relationship between the schedule and the budget so this is the basic need of the measurement unit in a software life cycle so basic objectives of the software measurement so objectives are basically identify in a point of view of both manager as well as project developer because project manager according to the measurement according to the measurement of battery bits of the completed software product the manager can identify the requirements are fulfill or not the customer is satisfied or not and it is deliver within a time or not so manager can define some objectives using the measurement in a software development life cycle so according to those managers are need to find out some answers based on the question what does each process cost the managers can prepare the cost of every small task that is involved in the software development product or software product development because we cannot calculate the total budget after completion of the whole software product so before going to complete whole software product we need to estimate the cost of the requirement the cost of the requirement analysis the cost of design the cost of coding the cost of testing and then finally calculate the overall system cost so every process is need to carry out the cost then managers need to check how productive is the staff means he need to check moving the stuff in a different environment according to the different module and he need to analyze staff is able to work on a different platforms different modules and different environments then he need to check how good is the code being developed he need to check the quality of the source code he need to check all the faults are fixed before going to the testing phase then managers need to check users should be satisfied with the product means they need to check what the commitment at the time of before going to develop the product and what they have completed after delivery of the software product and how can we improve means uh, suppose in the organization of the customer if they want some changes according to the different policies and they make want some modifications so according to their modification changes how we are capable to develop them or how we are capable to improve them without modifying the first existing part of the software tool the next second basic objectives are defined in the point of view engineers so engineers need to be check every requirements testable so before going to check the design and coding phase of the software development life cycle engineers are need to be test every requirement whatever they gather in the requirement analysis phase through the srs and sdd documents he need to find out all the faults in the review sections means before going to validation phase in the verification phase he need to check a missing inspections and walk through and need to check all the faults are fixed before going to the next phase of the software development the engineers must check how they meet product goals process goals means what they commit in the end and they are satisfied with the customer requirement or not and what will be happen in the future suppose next increment is requirement from the customer so how they will improve the next increment of the software before without changing the modification of the first version of that software so matrices and models in a software testing so matrices is another important part of the software measurement so what is the difference between in those the measurement is nothing but it is a unit of length we can calculate the things which is required for the improving quality but matrices is nothing but a characteristics which is measurable or countable means using the matrices we can develop the expressions and formulas to find out or calculate the final average progress of the software product 
the software matrices are valuable for many reasons including measuring software performance planning work items measuring productivity and many other reasons so definition of software matrices is nothing but it is a quantitative measure of the degree to which a system component or process processes a given attribute the goal of software matrices is to identify and control the parameters that affect on the software development the basic objectives of software matrices are it is basically used to measure the size of the software quality the size matrices are nothing but it is depend on the programming language it is assessing the level of complexity it is assessing the strength of module measured by coupling coupling is basically dependencies on the number of classes how we use number of classes how we use in a coupling it is assess the testing techniques it is specify when we stop the testing my classes are basically used when we stop the testing which is based on the various formulas which is used for calculating the total time span total average failures success failures so it is inform the tester as well as programmers where they stop the testing process it is determining the date of release the software based on the uh, based on the remark of the testing he will release the date when they are launch the software in a market and it is basically used to estimate the cost of resource and project schedule so categories of matrices matrices are basically divided into two categories product matrices and process matrices product matrices are basically describe the size complexity functionality performance reliability and portability and process matrices is primarily focuses on the quality of the processes it is improve the quality of the processes which is used for developing the software product the product matrices is basically focuses on what is the status of testing and process matrices is basically check the process of testing so we will see product matrices for testing it is about testing status of the software product means it will check after starting the testing phase he will check what is the status of what is the current status of now testing how much part of the testing is covered by the testing team as well as developer team and how much part is remaining so this is calculated based on the time interval he will check the time interval of number of failures calculated then he will check the time interval between failures he will check total time of failure he will calculate the estimated time and actual time means he will check the estimated time for testing and also product matrices check actual testing time so product matrices which is based on the matrices he will find some additional matrices which is based on the formula he will calculate the total time spent for the testing phase so it will be calculated based on the actual time spent divided by estimated time into 100 so it will be find including this formula the product matrices will be find average time of failures maximum and minimum failures average number of failures in time intervals and how many time is remaining to complete the testing means product matrices is basically find out the time interval between failure and the time interval between success and according to that he will be calculate percent of time is spent when testing is started and when testing is stopped so according to number of test cases whatever we design so according to that how much time is required or average time is required for testing it will be calculated based on the concept of product matrices process matrices so process matrices is basically monitor the testing means he will just design the testing and check the progress of the testing he will not calculate the time span he will just check the progress means when after starting the testing phase he will check after some time what is the status of design and how many number of that test cases are completed means the basic process matrices are nothing but he will check the number of test cases designed number of test cases executed 
how many number of test cases are passed how many number of test cases failed what is the total execution time and total time spent for the development of all test cases means how many total time span is required for developing all the test cases and he will only check how many total time span is required for the execution of all the test cases so according to those above measures he will calculate percent of test cases executed percent of test cases passed percent of test cases failed and average execution time of the test cases so scope of software matrices the soft, software matrices scope is based on the two part value and cost so every product must be valuable the value is nothing but it is measured in the form of quality and cost means it will be budget so budget is based on the schedule and according to the schedule it will be increased and decreased most so value is based on the quality and quantity quality is based on the reliability of the software and defects of the software quantity is based on the size matrices and functionality cost is based on the person resources and complexity person attributes are involved time and money resources are checked or based on the hardware reliability and software reliability and complexity is based on the environmental constraints and problem difficulty so software matrices are basically used in cost and effort estimation productivity measures and models data collection data collection is also very important part in the software matrices because we need to carefully collect the data and store in a database if we implement any wrong step then we cannot get the expected or desired output as per the given input so data collection is one of the various important aspects of the software matrices so we need every time to carefully handle the database at the time of developing the software product then quality models and measures various quality models are used for measuring the quality of the software basically various sq activities are also involved then reliability models are also involved then performance evaluation models are also used the various models and practices are available in the software engineering to measure the quality of the software and structural and complexity matrices are also used and capability maturity assessment is also used in capability maturity assessment different levels are used level 1 to 5 for the measuring the quality of the software then management of the matrices and various evaluation methods are used for the software matrices so because in various stages of the software development life cycle various methods are involved so for example we can take in a requirement analysis phase we can use the methods for the collection of the requirements in after the collection of the requirements we can use the tool that is nothing but sras software requirement specification documentation software design documentation and according to that we can use the various method to complete that task the next phase of the software development cycle is nothing but uh, software requirement designing phase in designing phase we can use the uh, we can use the data collection is nothing but we can draw the different diagrams for drawing the different diagrams we can use the various like data flow diagrams use case diagram sequence diagram so for that we can use the various methods or tools we can use the uml diagrams for draw these images and we can evaluate the methods and using this process also we can calculate the cost of every small phase after that we can going to designing coding the phase in coding we can create the language resources to develop the course line of course and according to line of the course we can estimate the size matrices so in this way we can define the scope of the software matrices in a measurement of software engineering so another important aspects of the matrices is nothing but object oriented matrices object oriented matrices is capture many attributes of the software product and some of they are rele relevant in testing so major structural design attributes of software systems such as coupling cohesion and complexity so object oriented matrices is basically involve the four matrices coupling matrices the coupling matrices are basically use or it is major the dependencies between a given class and the other classes in the program 
coupling is basically check how many number of classes we have developed in a line of code and how they are classes interact to the object and how they are dependent with each other then second is cohesion matrix cohesion matrix it is used to measure the method of classes are related to each other means once we have defined a class structure and in that class structure we can define the various functions methods are nothing but function so how these methods are correlate co communication with each other this is defined or measured under the cohesion matrix inheritance matrix is give the information about inheritance tree inheritance is nothing but reusability using the existing classes we can create one so how these classes are make the dependencies for the execution of object and fourth matrices of the don't understand is nothing but size matrices size matrices basically depend on the program programming language code because line of number of line of codes how many are included in the source code according to that size matrices is calculated so that's why size matrices is depend depending on the programming language used what should we measure during the testing so there are some basic things we can measure during the testing in that first is time okay how many times can be required for the testing i mean starting the testing and to stop this testing so time is required to run the test case total time we need to calculate the total time to run a test suit test suit is nothing but total number of test cases we have designed for conducting the software testing activity then how much time is available of testing in that total time how many time is required between the failures then time of failures and failure experience in a time interval second we need to measure is a quality of software code so quality of software code is calculated based on the formula wda that is nothing but number of weighted defects found after release plus wdb is number of weighted defects found before release divided by size size is nothing but source of code means how many number of defects we find out after the release of product and how many number of defects are found before the release divided by total number of size so using these formulas it is calculated the quality of source code then third part we can should measure during the testing is source code coverage so source code coverage is execute every statement of the program at least once before the release the customer so source code coverage means what we need to execute every statement of the program before going to release the software so source code coverage may be calculated based on the formula number of statements of the source code covered by test should divided by total number of statements of source code into 100 so based on this formula source code coverage is calculated then fourth point what we measure during the testing is nothing but test case defects density it will be take effectiveness of the test cases means whatever we design the test cases those are effective or not as per the given input it will be whatever they produce the result it will be compared with the expected outcome and it will be remark means whatever we develop the test cases those are effective or not so it will be checked to the defect density and it will be calculated based on number of failed test cases divided by number of executed test cases into 100 where failed test case is nothing but a test case that is executed and which is producing the undesired output and passed the test cases is nothing but that is calculated to desired output means whatever we provide the input so according to that whatever output is getting from the software product it should be compared with the desired output if we, when it will be matched with the desired output then our test case is right otherwise our test case is a fail test case so according to fail and pass test cases defect density will be calculated then review efficiency it will be give inside a high quality of the review review based on number of defects find during the review divided by total number of project defects into 100 review process is conducted in a verification verification phase of the software development life cycle because before going to before going to validation phase 
various reviews to walk through the inspections are conducted in a verification test to find out the defects and for fix the defects and remove the defects and after that they the total team of the organization <coughs> manager and product developer are going to next going to next phase of the software development life cycle that is nothing but design and coding so reviews are also used for to find out the defects and fix the defects so reviews also play a basic role in a measurement to improve the quality of the software